glad for each and every one that's come out to be with us tonight. And we hope and pray tonight that uh, service is going to be a blessing uh, to each and every one tonight, being up and Amen. And uh, you pray tonight that uh, we just uh, let God have His way in everything that's said and done tonight, that He'll get all the glory and the honor and uh, all the praise. We got, got some old familiar scripture that uh, we're going to read tonight, but the Lord has given us sort of a different twist on it. Amen. And, uh, you pray tonight that uh, this will be a help to somebody tonight. I know whenever I was reading and studying it over a while ago, it really blessed me. And I hope and pray tonight that it'll bless you also. Amen. Well, I tell you, where would we be without God? Amen. Amen. If Amen. it wasn't for the love of God, where would we be Amen. at tonight? Man, we'd be in trouble, wouldn't we? Amen. Amen. If we wasn't dead, we'd surely be in trouble. Amen. So you pray tonight. But over in the second chapter of the book of Ephesians, amen. And there's about three sections of this that we want to hit tonight. And, amen. And I'm not going to read it all. Uh, just going to read a, a few of the uh, first few verses here. Amen. Probably down to about uh, verse number five. Amen. And, uh, but I want you to listen real close to the reading of God's Word. Amen. It said, And you have the quickened who were dead in the trespasses of sin. Amen. Who was dead in the trespasses? We all was. Amen. Amen. The Bible said that we was all uh, in the sins. Amen. It comes short of the glory of God. He said, Wherein in time past you walk according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, and the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience among whom also all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature uh, the children of wrath even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy, and for His great love wherewith He loved us, even when we were dead in sin, hath quickened us together with Christ, by grace are you saved. Amen. And then we'll look at verse 8. He said, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourself. It is the gift of God. Amen. Let us pray. Father, dear Lord, it's again God that we come to you tonight, Lord, with humble hearts. Thanking you, Lord, for this day. Thanking you, Father, for another opportunity, Lord, of being in your house tonight. And God, we ask you today, Lord, if we've said or done anything, Lord, throughout this week that would hinder this in any way, God, that you would forgive us of it, pull us up close to the cross, and God, make preaching and teaching easy tonight. Lord, how we love you tonight. How we thank you, Lord, for that gift of salvation. And God, we pray tonight, Lord, for these prayer requests, Lord, for the very many, God, that has been lifted up. Lord, we pray tonight, God, that you know about the needs, Lord, of each and every one. And Father, we pray tonight, God, that you might uh, hear their cries and answer their prayers tonight, Lord, in a mighty, mighty way. Help us tonight, Lord, to be all we can be, Lord, in this man called Jesus Christ. And what a Savior and what a Lord he is. And God, we'll give you all the praise and the honor and the glory, Lord, for we ask it all in in Jesus' holy and precious name, we do pray, and amen, and amen. You know, as we uh, uh, look at this chapter tonight in the book of Ephesians, we see about three different things in this, uh, in this uh, passage tonight. Amen. We find out that, amen, that God tells us right in the very beginning of the, of the chapter of what we used to be. Amen. And there's no getting around that. Amen. We, we are all sinners until we're saved by the grace of God. Amen. There's none of us 
Amen. They come into this world whole that don't need a Savior. Amen. But the Bible said that we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. Do you know how many times that people in this life have tried to change uh, the way they live? Amen. Boy, I tell you, hey, some people try every new year to change uh, the way they live. They boy, every time uh, that people get into trouble, they make a vow. Amen. That they'll never do it again. Amen. If they can just get out of the jam that they're in. Amen. And time after time after time again. Amen. We'll promise to ourselves. Amen. That I'm going to quit this or I'm going to quit that. Uh, just to pick it up a few weeks down the road or a month down the road and be right back where we was to begin with. Amen. But I'm glad tonight that whenever God uh, comes in tonight. Amen. That he is able to change us. Amen. Amen. And when He changes us, He's able uh, to change us on a permanent basis. Amen. Amen. Uh, brother, I tell you, it's good when people are able to quit this and to quit that. If they could stay quitting. Amen. But the biggest part of it, we'll go right back. Amen. To the same old thing. I might say tonight, uh, we got more than one thing you've common in here tonight. Amen. We got a lot of things in common tonight. Amen. We've all, we got the, uh, the love of God that is in our heart and in our life. Amen. That helps us from day to day. We have that in common. Amen. We got in common that we was all saved uh, the same way. Amen. By and through the blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We uh, got the same Heavenly Father. Amen. We got the same Spirit that is living uh, down on the inside of us, each one of us tonight, or to have the same direction. Amen. And that's promoting, amen, of the goodness of Almighty God. But we find out here that Jesus takes care of our past. Amen. Ain't you glad tonight that we don't have to stand before God guilty and condemned. Amen. And sins to a life in hell. But when He comes in, He takes that blood and He applies that blood to our heart and to our life and He cleanses us and He makes us a child of God. Amen. See, back in the old Bible, Amen, God had a covenant with Israel. Amen. And Israel was supposed to be and the one that was shining the light, amen, out to the Gentiles, amen. But they traded the Gentiles uh, uh, like a bunch of dogs. And whenever Jesus came, they treated him the same way, amen. And the Bible said over in the book of John, he said, the Lord come unto his own and his own uh, uh, received him uh, He made him an outcast uh, even though he was the son of God. Amen. Amen. Listen. There are a lot of people in this world today that is controlled by their past. Amen. Boy, I'm telling you what, what's that? Uh, uh, the old devil gets a hold on you. Amen. Brother, I'm telling you, he'll take you places you never dreamt about going. And he'll make you do things that you never dreamt about doing. Amen. And that's where each and every one of us was at. Amen. Either we're controlled by the Holy Spirit of God or we're controlled by the Spirit of the devil. Amen. And he's working in this world. I'm glad that at night that God saved me. Amen. He was able to break the power that the devil had over me. Amen. He was able to break the addictions. Amen. That was in my life. Amen. Boy, I tell you, the devil, he'll lock you up in a prison, boy, and he'll make you try to gain everything in this old world as long as he can keep your mind off of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I get into one of the points, amen. Listen tonight, one of them is, amen, we don't need to be controlled by our past, amen. Our past is our past, amen. And the Lord has done forgive us, son. He done cast it over into the sea of forgetfulness never to be remembered against us anymore. I said, why should we let our past control us? Hey, there's a lot of people today. Hey, Amen. They remember what you used to be. Hey, Amen. They say, listen tonight. It don't matter what you used to be. What matters is what are you now in the sight of the Lord and Savior Amen. Jesus Christ? Amen. Hey, Amen. We don't need to be controlled by our past. 
Amen. What the Lord broke the chains of in my life, I have no desire for. Amen. This scene of listen. I had an uncle say, you'll never, you'll never quit it like that. Well, Jesus quitted it for me. Amen. He took that desire out of my heart. He took that desire out of my life. And he put new desires in there. I see some people don't ever get over what you used to be. Amen. I go home and I'm reminded all the time of what I used to be. Amen. People come up to me and they say, well, are you back to doing the same old things that you used to do. I said, if you're talking about the whole pen, I ain't even visited today, man. I want to stay away from it as far as I can because, man, it stinks. Amen. Listen to that sin. Uh, uh, stinks. Amen. My boy, ain't you glad tonight that God has delivered you out of the whole pen? Amen. The Lord has brought you someplace tonight that they ain't nobody else could have brought you. Amen. The Lord gave you something tonight that they ain't nobody in the world could have given you. Amen. Amen. This Cena, He gave you the right to live. Amen. And to worship Him and to praise Him and to adore His holy name. Amen. And to thank Him every day of our life. And that's what we need to be doing. Amen. Amen. The Bible said that we're saved by grace. Amen. It was through the mercies of Almighty God that He saved me. He didn't have to, but boy, I'm sure glad that He did. Amen. I'm glad, thank God, for what God has done in my life. And I'm glad for the road and the path that God has got me on. Amen. This is, listen, the old man will try to throw up at time to time what I've done, amen. And I tell the old booger, I don't do that anymore, amen. Listen tonight, I'm on a new road, I'm on a new highway, amen. And boy, the road that I'm on tonight, it is filled with the blessings, amen. They come down from Almighty God, and whether I'm here or whether I'm gone, amen, I'm a winner either way in this man called Jesus Christ. Amen. So don't let you pass, talk you. Amen. If you're here tonight and you have trouble out of your past thinking about your past, amen, you're the only one that thinks about it. God doesn't think about it. Amen. He done got rid of it. Amen. He done thrown it away. Amen. Boy, that day that I was adopted in to the family of God, I was like a brand new babe. Amen. I was adopted over into the family of God. Don't let your past, amen, get in the way of what you're supposed to be doing now. Amen. Listen tonight. Get your eyes off of what you used to be. Amen. And put them on what you can be in this man called Jesus Christ. We got a few future, amen. This church has got a future, amen. We got a road that we got to walk on. Listen, and God said, I'm going to help you because you've been saved by the grace of God and you're one of mine, amen. amen. See, the Gentiles didn't have any hope at all. The Word of God tells us that, that we was without hope. Amen. That there was no way that we was going to be saved until Jesus come into the world. Amen. And He made a way possible. Amen. For us to be saved. Amen. And boy, I'm telling you what. He, we have got a future. Amen. We got a future here at Grace Independent Baptist Church. We got a future of tomorrow. We got a future yonder in heaven. Amen. If we'll just keep our nose to the plow. Amen. And keep our eyes on the cross that's right in behind me. And keep our eyes upon the Savior. Amen. This evening there is a future that is being prepared for you and I. Jesus said in the book of John, He said, I go away to prepare you a place, and where I am there, you may be also listening to Brother, I got a future, amen. Right now, I live in a parsonage beside a church. One day after a while, I'm going to trade that in up for a mansion. Thank God this is Maybe that's next door to Jesus down here. I have worries and concerns, amen. And but over there, thank God this is Only thing is going to be there is the joy and the peace of serving and worshiping God all through eternity. Amen. Now there's one thing that I want out by point out. But before we can have a future, we got to be serious about the present. Amen. Amen. We got to be serious about the walk that we do today. Amen. We got to be serious how we live for this man called Jesus Christ. 
We're ambassadors. Amen. For the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. God called men and women. He called the twelve apostles. Amen. And boy, I tell you what, He gave them a word uh, to preach, to build uh, the foundation of the church. Amen. And boy, ever since then, God has been calling men into the ministry. Amen. To go into the world and preach the gospel of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We got to be serious about our walk with God right now. Amen. We got to be serious about our work. Amen. Amen. With the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. I have people all the time say, Preacher, you need to slow down a little bit. Listen. Amen. The Bible said, There remaineth a rest for the children of God. Amen. Brother David, there's going to be plenty of time to rest. Amen. When we get over on the other side. But right now, souls are dying and going to hell. Amen. And it's the outreach of the church. Amen. That is able to maybe rescue a person. So, amen, and get them in uh, before it is everlasting too late. I believe sometimes a person doesn't take their walk with Jesus as serious as what they amen. They yep. amen. The Bible said that we're not saved by our words. We're saved by the grace of God. Amen. But listen to what uh, the writer put in here. Amen. Down in verse number, down in verse number 10. He said, uh, uh, For by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourself. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. We are His workmanship. Amen. We're the work of the hand of Almighty God. I ain't made myself. Amen. It's the Lord that has made each and every one of us. Amen. He took somebody that was lost and unknown. Amen. That had no hope whatsoever in this world. And he reached that nail scarred hand down and he rescued us out of a pit. Amen. Boy, each and every one of us was on our way to hell until Jesus passed by. Amen. Boy, if you ain't never been convicted of the Holy Spirit of God, I'm telling you what, then you ain't none of His. Amen. Listen, I, I heard an old boy testify one time and they had been traveling all over the country a singing. And his mama told him, said, son, you'll know You'll know and you'll realize when it happens, when the third part of the Godhead shows up. Amen. And the Holy Spirit of God begins a work on your heart. Amen. And boy, he said one night, he said, I've been singing for years. Amen. He even led the children's choir, helped the youth to sing. Amen. He said, I was busy in the church. But he said one night, the third part of the Godhead showed up and I realized that I was lost. And up. I realized what Mama had told me, amen, come to haunt me, amen, and the Holy Spirit of God come in and sat down into his life and it rescued him, amen, and it saved him. Each one of us as we said here in the very beginning, each one of us has been saved of the same way, amen, we come through the same door, we met the same Jesus, we met the same Lord, we've been cleansed by the same blood, amen, we're promised that a live in the same country. Amen. All of these promises fit toward us. But ain't it amazing that God can take somebody that doesn't know anything about the Lord. Amen. And to raise us up in the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and put a desire in our heart and a desire in our life and to preach the everlasting gospel to a world that is lost and unknown. Honey, if you want a future, you got to be serious about the present. Amen. Amen. That's what's wrong with our churches. That's what's wrong with our churches. Amen. They come in on Sunday morning. Amen. Boy, they shout the house down. Amen. Then they live like hell Monday through Saturday. Amen. Amen. And then right back in church again. 
Amen. All a Sunday morning, a shouting and a praise. Hey, they something wrong there. Amen. Hey, man, this ain't because the same Lord has saved me, should have saved them. Hey, man, I live the same way seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Hey, man, I'm concerned. Hey, man, about a world that is lost and dying and going to hell. Hey, man, I'm concerned. Thank God for that one that raises her hand on a Sunday morning saying that I need prayer. Hey, man, I'm concerned about the ones. Hey, Man, that get in this way and fall out a fellowship with this man they call Jesus honey I tell you what we ought to be serious about our walk with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ this is the most serious thing that you can handle amen it's when you handle the words of life we don't want to do anything that will hurt people but we want to point them towards the truth and Jesus is the truth yes. Jesus is that true. We got to be serious about the present if we're going to be promoted in the future. Amen. If you want that hole in heaven, then you got to be serious about how you live down here. Amen. Because I'm telling you what, God's got an eye that is everywhere. Amen. You, you ever seen somebody go, I'm looking at you, I'm watching you. Amen. Tonight, might I say tonight that God is watching us. Amen. Amen. He knows everything about us. He knows our thoughts even before we think them. Yeah. Amen. He knows our past. He knows how we live at home. Amen. He knows how we live out on our job. He knows how we live in our community. He knows how we treat our fellow man. Amen. This Satan, brother, I'm telling you, we ought to be showing them the love of God. Amen. Boy, the Bible said tonight, and to love your enemies. Amen. And to pray for them uh, that despitefully use you. And by that, you'll heap coals of fire upon their head. Listen tonight. We need to be serious about uh, the present world that we live in. Honey, I want to be a soul winner for this man called Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. Amen. I want a church alongside the road. Amen. That cares about the lost man and woman. Amen. That lives in the neighborhood. Amen. That is not too busy to stop by. Amen. And invite them out to the house of God and to tell them about the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I want a church tonight that is filled with people that love God. Amen. And they got the same thing in God. You know the reason why our churches are struggling? Brother David, we lost our vision. Amen. On oh, the vision that God has given us. Amen. How many of you have a vision? of the house of God. Amen. Boy, one of these days I'd like to see it running over. Amen. A sinner after sinner after sinner say a backslider's healed. Amen. And the joy of God sitting down with us. Amen. The Lord we can worship and to praise Him because He's the only thing that is really important. Amen. we got to be serious about the praise. I've always said that excuses are like putting water in a barrel that's got a hole in the bottom of it. They may be sure your excuse is going to leak out the bottom. And might I be very frankly with you tonight, hey, some excuses ain't even going to make it to the tub. Hey, Amen. They're going to run out before they ever get to the tub. Listen, we need to be serious about our walk with God. The Bible tells us that we're saved by the grace of God even when we didn't deserve to be. God richly saved us. Yes. Amen. When we was an outcast and an out, uh, outcast in the community. Amen. And they wasn't nobody cared anything about us that the Lord. Amen. He cared enough for us. Amen. Boy, I'm telling you to help us. I remember, amen, that night I got saved. Amen. Boy, I just stood up and the only thing I could say is, boy, just thank God. Amen. Thank God for saving me. And there was two or, two or three old women that sat over on the left-hand side. Amen. And before I ever got seated down, amen, one of them leaned over to the other. I know him. He ain't going to last very long. 
Now he ain't gonna last very long. He, he'll be at church two or three times and then you won't see him anymore. He'll be right back to the bottle, right back or other and around. He's done that all of his life. Amen. This is, and boy was they ever wrong. Amen. Tonight, listen tonight. God lit a fire in under me. I wanted to know more about him. Amen. And boy, I'm telling you, the more I searched and the more I see, and Brother David, the more he gave me. Amen. And if you're serious about God, amen, when you get in God's Word, just open it up and say, Lord, help me to understand. God will give you the understanding of it. Amen. And He'll lead you and guide you. But the trouble is, amen, we let everything and its brother come in between us and serving God. Amen. amen. We let everything come on. From a hangnail to an ankle hurting mm -hmm. to a toothache to a headache, it don't take nothing to keep us out of the house of God. If we laid out of work as much as we laid out of church, they would none of us have a job. Mm -hmm. Paul said, bar every one of us. Amen. Amen. We need to be serious Amen. about the present. Might I tell you, you don't have but one present journey. Amen. And that's now. Whenever your eyes are closed in there, your hands folded across your chest and they lay you in that box, that journey's over. They ain't no more present. Everything from there, Brother David, going to be a future. Amen. And that future depends on how we live the present. Amen. Amen. God saved us. He didn't save. He didn't save anybody in the Word of God. I can't find anywhere in the Word of God Amen. That whenever God saved them and placed them in the church, He told them, now be quiet. Don't say nothing. Don't get excited. Amen. Man, you get excited, you scare that old preacher, you give him a heart attack. Amen. If you say amen, you say it so low that a mouse in the church couldn't even hear you. Amen. Amen. Well, we need to be serious about this thing. I'm telling you. If God lays an amen on your heart, and boy, you don't raise your hand and holler amen, I hope he whoops you like my daddy used to whoop me when I was this Amen. Amen. Because we need to be serious amen. about serving God. We need to walk this life. We need to walk today like today is the last day of our life. We need to live right now as if this was the last minute that we was going to leave. Amen. Amen. And boy, I tell you, if you do that every day, God will start blessing your socks off of you. Amen. He'll start giving you a shout. Amen. He'll start giving you a joy down in your heart. Amen. And boy, I'm telling you what, you won't even be able to possess it. Amen. I've heard, I've heard people all my life, well, my mom and my daddy told me to be quiet. <laughs> in church and I just can't get by that. Listen, your mom and daddy ain't God. Amen. 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 God says that we need to get excited. Amen. Do you think heaven's going to be quiet? Yep. Boy, I'm telling you, wouldn't we look like an oddball? Amen. Everybody running around through heaven and shouting and praising and amen, throwing their hands up in the air and getting happy and just a squalling and a screaming for the Lord we're sitting up like... <laughs> Oh, well, the angels come by and say, why ain't you shouting? Well, my mama told me <laughs> that I wasn't supposed to carry on like that in church. Listen, we need to get serious about serving God. If you're not serious about it, you ain't going to have no future with it. Amen. Amen. Because the Bible says that we're saved unto a work. We are His work. We are His worship. He's the one that done a work in our life. Not me. Amen. My pastor didn't save me. Choir leader didn't save me. Amen. The director of the youth didn't save me. But it was Jesus, amen, that saved me. It was Him that come into my heart and come into my life. Amen. This evening, it was Him that gave me a shout. Amen. Hey, brother, and I, I tell you, whenever I was growing up, I couldn't even speak in front of people. Amen. And the first time that I, that I hollered, Amen, boy, I stood up and I hollered, Well, glory. Amen. So that I scared my own self. Amen. Brother, I tell you, I sit there and I worry in the world today. 
come from? You know where it come from? The Holy Ghost to God. Amen. Give us a shout. And when He gives us a shout, we need to let it ring out from the housetop. Amen. Let's show the world tonight. We're not serving the day of God. He's alive and well. And on the right hand of God. And He's getting ready to come back at any time. Amen. So the first part of Ephesians tells us how that we was before we met Him. We was lost in that love. And then the second part of it tells us how that He redeemed us by His mercy and His grace. Amen. And took the blood that came down from Calvary and washed our sins away. Amen. This same and then it shows us that Amen. That once that happened, we was adopted over into a family of God. Amen. A, a righteous family. A family that lives holy. The Bible says tonight, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Amen. 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 That comes straight from the Lord. Amen. Amen. Tonight, God wants a holy people living upon the face of this earth. Amen. He wants a people that is serious about their walk with this man called Jesus Christ. I want to ask you a question tonight. How serious are you tonight? How serious are you in your walk with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Is your life dedicated, dedicated to His service? You get up in the morning and thank Him have prayer, read a little bit in God's Word. Amen. They say, how serious about this walk that we had with Jesus Christ. I will tell you something in closing tonight. He's the most important thing in the world to me. Amen. I found out a long time ago, buddy, you can't please me. Amen. It is literally Amen. impossible. Hey Amen. If you try to please people, you're going to have one group happy and another group happy. Hey Amen. You ain't never going to be able to please people all the time. And some of the people you can't please any of the time. It don't matter what you do. Hey Amen. So I figured out a long time ago that if I just come into church and I just haul off and worship God and I please Him, Amen. When I leave out of here, I ain't got nothing to worry Amen. about. Amen. Amen. That's the reason I say, boy, just preach it. Let the chips Amen. fall or they may. Amen. Amen. And boy, I'm telling you, if you need help, God's right there to help. That's right. Amen. Amen. This thing, but I declare, I don't want to go before God one of these days and say, preacher, that soul there would have made it if you'd been obedient to me. I don't want that. I don't want nobody's blood on my hands. Amen. I want to give it like it is. Amen. Listen to me. He saved us from our past, so we don't need to be worried about our past. He's got a future already planned out for us. But in order to get to that future, we got to be serious about the present. Amen. We've got to be serious about how we serve God right now. Amen. And the things we do, the advice we give people, the way we talk to people, the way we look at people, amen. The way that we answer people, the way that we treat people, amen. Tonight, brother, it's all in there, amen. And boy, I'm telling you, if you got the love of God in you, I used to drop at the drop of a hat, I'd get so mad, boy, I just want to fight. Just want to fight. I, I, I bought me a brand new car, thirty-six hundred dollars, brand new, had a special order. And that thing got there, and there was trouble with it in the transmission part of it. And the thing hadn't even went out of warranty. And I left it one day, and I come back, and they said, we fixed it. And I got home. When I got home, I had trouble getting it in reverse to even park it in the driveway. And boy, Dad got out of that thing, and I said, I'll be back after a while. And I crammed that thing in first, man. I scattered the front end of that trailer with grass going out the driveway. I got home that night. My dad said, we need to talk. And I sat down. He said, boy, 
He said, if something don't get a hold of you, something don't change you, he said, you'll never live to see 25 years old. You can't go through life like this. You can't go through life telling people just exactly what you think and getting away with it forever. And boy, I'm so glad that night that Jesus saved me. He took that filthy mouth away from me. Took that bad temper away from me. Amen. He calmed me down. Amen tonight. It takes a lot to make me mad. Amen. It takes a whole lot to make me mad. Amen. And when I get mad, amen, well, usually what I do is I go down to the building. Amen. I shut the door off the building. Amen. And me and God get in there all by ourselves. Amen. And I pray till I get over it. Amen. amen. Listen this morning. we got to be serious about our walk with this Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because we got a future with Him. We got a future with Him. We got a home prepared over on the other side. Amen. I hope and pray this has been an uplift to you. I hope and pray that it's been an encouragement to you. Amen. And if you're not doing right, I hope and pray it's been an eye open. Amen. Amen. This second, because I tell you what, we could go through this world skin and all, uh, skiing on thin ice. But one of these days you're going to hit a patch of thin ice and that ice will break. Your Lord, amen. 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 Listen tonight. Be serious about your walk with this Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let the piano player come back, the song leader come back. Amen. And we'll all stand and have a, have a little song tonight. And if you're here and you want to pray, amen, just let God have His way. If you're here tonight, God is urging you to come to the altar. Amen. Just be obedient to this man called Jesus Christ. One page number.